and he just got stood up in the turn, puts himself under unnecessary pressure. He knows exactly what's at stake here. Three vital World Championship point gain, and oh my word! Hurlings, what a move around the outside. Oh, and uh, Cairoli fights back immediately. That's what we want to see. Wow. Well, let's put those replays on hold for now. This one just got tastier. It's going to be three laps to go because 125, the lap here, 225. Cairoli and Hurlings at their absolute best. Not to get involved as well. And Hurling's looking to make a move down the inside. Oh, he runs down into the car rolling. Oh! Whoa! That was coming. Hurling's charged down the inside. He had one thing on his mind to run it down the inside of Kai Rowling. Does his best to stay out of the fight. Look at the difference in line there. Oh, we see in rehearsals here from Tim Geiser. Oh, the first look over the shoulder. And uh, another bubble there at the top of the hill. And Geiser, right in front of his home fans, goes through. And Cairoli is going to fight back immediately. Wow, gloves are off. He's got fed up of eating the roost off the rear wheel of that KTM. And Geiser goes for the jugular. He goes to the front. Rowling is alongside Geiser. Geiser knows he's there. He's got to stay patient as well, hasn't he, Geiser? Try not get flustered, but try saying that when you've got a nine-time world champion behind you. He's also the championship leader. And uh, Kairoli right there, and a mistake from Geiser. Geiser runs wide, and Tony Kairoli gets their fans on the feet here. And lap nine was Kairoli time. Wow. Electric atmosphere here at Trentino. Pietro Morata. Geiser has to stalk Cairoli just like he did in race one. This place has just come alive, folks. Obstacle, and here is Geiser. He's been fast here, and he goes up the inside. Geiser leads again on lap 14. Tony Cairoli, I wonder if his concentration was just broken there at the top of the hill. And Geiser caught him napping. Oh, and Geiser, uh, sorry, Cairoli. How did he stay up there? Oh, he goes long, he goes to the outside. That was a much better turn for Cairoli, and that will give him that boost of confidence that he needs. He's right on the back of the Honda now. Going for the dirt, chasing the dirt a little bit too much. Cairoli's going to run clean into the back of him, and they're both going down. That's how close they are. It's almost MotoGP style, and Cairoli's going to get the, uh, the run round here because of the back marker just on the line there of Geiser. And Geiser goes defensive. Cairoli comes around the outside. Oh, he buries his wheels in the ground again, and they almost touch, coming over the jump. Cairoli goes through! Wow! Geiser tried to close the door. They are on the absolute limit. You cannot take your eyes off of it. Two to go. Oh, Cairoli almost off the bike. He was off the bike.
and another mistake! Kyroni goes down, and that is the GP decided. Kyroni picks himself up. Wow! Another mistake there for Prado. And Yago Kiet and uh, Prado are over the line. Three tenths of a second. And he goes to move around the outside. Ah, oh, Yago Kiet takes the lead here in France. Prado has never seen the back of another rider this late in the race so far this year. Can he come back? Yago Kiet now has to keep his emotions in check. His heart is going to be pounding through that chest. S adrenaline surging through his veins. Oh, he took a cheap shot there at the top of the hill, did Prado, tried to get up the inside of the Yamaha rider. What a fantastic race. Yago Kitts, he cannot afford to switch off. Prado will show him a wheel here, try and spook him into making a mistake if he can. Watch this here. This was the pass a lap ago. He went to the inside, did Prado. Kitts maintained the momentum around the outside, and I bet Hans Corvus could barely contain himself from whatever vantage point he was watching from. The fans loved it. Back marker's there, where is uh, top of the hill? And uh, Yago Kiet, he goes around the outside. Back marker splits the two leaders here. Prado has to stretch it out. Yago Kiet is about a half a lap away from taking his first ever MX2 race win and Prado gets caught there by a bat marker. Well, Loris Friedrichs already uh, looks over his shoulder. He knows the leaders are coming through, but this has been a masterclass from Yago Kietz here in moto number one. He just needs to keep it all under control. A handful of corners to go. And all the Yamaha bigwigs are here as well this weekend. Down past pit lane for the final time. Through the first turn. He's got four more corners to go. Has Yago Kiertz at Belgium. All of Belgium will be on their feet watching this from wherever they are. But Prado is not done yet. He's found something. He is all over the back of the Belgian as they charge down in the final two corners. He still believes he can make a run for the line. Yago Kiertz knows he's there, a mistake from Prado, and Yago Kiertz is going to exit the final turn, a mistake from Prado, Yago Kiertz wins race one, he takes his first ever MX2 race victory, and he has handed a uh, defeat for the first time to Jorge Prado.